Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ikea. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. So today's video, I'm sharing my haul from Sephora. I did a little bit of shopping during the Sephora sale and I just wanted to show y'all what I got. The sale is actually still going on. It's actually currently going on for VIB Rouge, but it starts this week for VIB as well as Beauty Insiders. So I want to share with y'all what I purchased during the sale just in case you still need some ideas and you may want to purchase the same things. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'll be honest, I did pretty good this year. I just have one small box and I only purchased a few items, things that I absolutely loved or really wanted to repurchase. So I didn't get a ton of items. Usually I go ham during these sales, but for some reason, I just didn't feel the need to do that this year. But who knows, since it's just starting, I may go back and get more items. But let me just start off with the items that are in here and let y'all know what I got. So the first item I got is this oat cleansing balm. And one thing about me, I'm obsessed with cleansing balms. I literally love them. I will use any kind of cleansing balm or cleansing oil. I love to use them to take my makeup off. So I wanted to try this one out because someone, I can't remember which YouTuber it was, she was raving about this and it is actually a pretty decent size. So this is how it comes and it's actually um, five fluid ounces. It's a pretty huge container and y'all, this cleansing balm was only $10. I really should have got two of them, but since I didn't know how it worked, I was like, let me just get one. But yeah, I'm really shocked at how big this is. It's supposed to be um, for sensitive skin and fragrance free, which I absolutely love. But yeah, I'm really excited to try this. I might try it out tonight. So this one is from the Inky List, which I'm not really familiar with this brand. I think they're fairly new at Sephora. But yeah, I'm really excited to try this balm out. So I've actually been on the hunt for foundations, y'all. So I ended up getting two foundations. So this one is from Huda Beauty and this is her faux filter luminous foundation. It's supposed to be um, like the newer one to her original foundation that she had. Now I have the original one and I didn't like it because it was like too fragrance for me. So this one is supposed to not be fragrance. So that's good. And I ended up getting it in the shade Nutmeg. So we'll see how this one works. It also has a pump, which is really Really nice um the other one had a pump as well but yeah I can't wait to try this out I want to see how the formula is compared to the original um I know a few people who have tried this out and they said that they really like it so let's see we shall see about this one and then I also got another foundation from Gucci this is the natural finish fluid foundation and honestly I only got this because Jackie Ina was raving about it and it really wasn't on my radar until I watched her video. And then I was looking at Andrea Renee's video last week and she ended up getting this as well. So I was like, those are my girls. Let me check out this foundation. But first of all, the packaging is really pretty. It's really aesthetically pleasing. And I just like uh, foundations that have beautiful packaging. I'm not really sure if this color is going to work on me. It looks a little light in the um, bottle, but I'll try it out and see. But the packaging is really nice, very luxe, and I can't wait to play in this one either. I've heard really good things about this one. So yeah, I'll be trying this one out as well. So I also got a new lip liner from Huda Beauty, and this is their Lip Contour 2.0. It's an automatic lip liner. I actually purchased two of these in the same shade, and this is Rich Brown. So I'm going to show y'all what it looks like. So the pack packaging looks like this, which is really pretty. Oh yeah. So here is what the shade looks like. This is up my alley. I absolutely love really, really brown um, lip liners. And this one is supposed to be matte, which I love even more. I am obsessed with brown matte lip liners because they don't move. So I cannot wait to use this one. And this is like the perfect brown. So yeah, this one's in the shade Rich Brown. So also for the lips, I ended up getting the new Fenty Beauty Cream Duo. And these are their new Double Take 
um, cream lip glosses. She just launched these, I think, on Friday. And there's two new shades. There's Bubble Binge and Cupcaking. I think that's what they're called. So this one, this really, really pink color right here, which is so pretty. This is called Bubble Binge. Let me show y'all what that looks like. Swash. Ooh, that's pretty. This is going to be really pretty for the summer. And then this one, this is called Cupcaking, and it actually looks like a mixture in between two of the other ones that she already has. There's like a pinkish purplish one, and then there's like a natural one. This looks like the middle between both of those it's still really pretty but this one is cupcake and let me show y'all what that looks like okay it's like a little bit more um pigmented so cupcake is down here and that's really pretty so i cannot wait to use these i'm a huge fan of fenty glosses and their cream glosses are so good so i had to get my hands on those so I was also watching Andrea Renee and she was talking about this lip balm from Biosance. So I was like, you know what? Let me just throw that in the cart as well. So this is the Squalane Rose Vegan Lip Balm from Biosance. And let me see what the packaging looks like. Oh, this is cute. So it's like a little tube. So I've never tried anything from this brand, but I've been really wanting to try some items from them. I know they have a serum that everybody raves about. So I might go back and check that out during the sale. But I love lip balms and I just feel like you can't have enough lip balms in your collection. So I can't wait to try this one out. It looks like it's um a really nice consistency. Yeah, it's like thickums. Oh, yeah. I think I'm gonna like this one. It's like pretty nice and thick. So this one we'll be trying out tonight. And then I also got this Power Duo from Tower 28. And this is their lip and cheek set. So I've actually been wanting to try out their lip glosses and their um, cream blushes. And so I saw this set and I thought it would be perfect. So it comes with, let's see. So it comes with the, ooh, this is pretty. This is their blush. And it is in the shade Beach House. This is really pretty. Such a pretty color. It's like a terracotta. Beautiful. And then it also comes with the gloss in the shade Cashew. So let me just show y'all what cashew looks like. Oh yeah, this is up my alley. This is the kind of gloss that I live for. So this is cashew up here. And it's like the most beautiful brown lip gloss. I love that. So I heard nothing but great things about Tower 28. So I cannot wait to claim these. I'll probably do my next makeup look using these, but I don't know don't quote me but i do really want to try these out because they look so good and then i also have a repurchase this is from sol de janeiro and this is their brazilian crush chirosa 62 body mist y'all i love this stuff it smells so good it smells like coconut and vanilla and like a tropical vacation i really really like this a lot so i had to re-up on this one because i love wearing this at nighttime. It's good, y'all. And last but not least, I couldn't have gone through the entire Sephora sale without purchasing a perfume. So I ended up getting Coco Noir by Chanel. And I first want to thank you all because a lot of you guys suggested this in my most complimented fragrance video. Y'all suggested that I try Coco Noir from Chanel. Um, if you're not familiar, I always have mentioned that I haven't been a huge fan of Chanel fragrances because they just seem a little too warm and too deep for me. I think they're a little too mature for me, I guess is what I'm saying. But a lot of y'all had recommended this one along with Chanel Chance. So I decided to get this one first because I heard a lot of great things about it. 
and I just can't wait to check it out. So yeah, so the packaging is really pretty. I love this. It looks similar to the packaging for Mademoiselle, but it's black. Really, really pretty. Hmm, it smells good. This actually seems like it's still along the same scent family as Coco Mademoiselle, but it's just a little bit deeper and a little bit warmer, but it does smell really good. I think that this one would be great for the nighttime. I'm not sure what notes are in here because I haven't looked them up yet, but it does smell really, really good. This is also giving me um, Giorgio Armani C vibes, and y'all know I love C. That's like my favorite perfume ever. This is giving me those same vibes, like very warm, sensual, but still kind of like floral. This smells really, really good. So thank y'all again for recommending this one. All right, y'all. So that was everything that I purchased from the Sephora sale. As you can see, it wasn't a lot this year. I didn't do too much. I may go back and get a few more items, but honestly, I'm pretty content with everything that I have. But yeah, that was everything, y'all. So comment down below and let me know what you plan on getting during the sale. Or if you already made your purchase, let me know what you already bought. I would love to know because, again, I may go back and get more items. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. You can also check me out on social media. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. My handle is at Ikea Alexis, and it'll be linked down below in the description box. And I will talk to y'all later. Thank you again for watching. Have a great one and be safe. Bye.